Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. Today I want to talk about the impression copings that are available for the Astra EV system. The impression copings for Astra EV are available in both open and closed tray, with long and short variants available for each. The closed tray copings are pretty standard with some smooth retention elements that allow them to easily snap in and out of the impression without distortion. The open tray copings, however, are very unique from what you would find with other systems. Most systems have rectangular retention elements that stick out of the impression coping to lock it into the impression. The EV copings instead have several divots evenly placed around the coping. These retention elements aren't as retentive as other designs and therefore make it more likely for the impression coping to be rotated or dislodged from the impression. And if that happens, we have no way of knowing the correct rotation for reinsertion. The EV connections have seven internal grooves for rotational alignment of the abutment. Six of the grooves are evenly spaced around the internal diameter of the implant, and the seventh groove is between two of the others. This configuration means that there's only one way the impression coping can fit into the implant to match the orientation of those grooves. But the part of the impression coping that's retained in the impression has a uniform design and could be placed back in the impression in several rotational orientations. Trying to guess which orientation is correct would only have a 20% chance of success but there are a couple of precautions you can take to prevent that from happening. The first is to use the appropriate impression coping length. If the impression coping sticks too far out of the tray, there's a higher chance for it to be dislodged. So for cases with a shallower implant placement, it may work better to use the short impression coping. But keep in mind that the shorter impression coping has less retentive elements than the longer one, so it should only be used when necessary. Second, you should always use heavy or medium body impression material around the impression coping. Using a light body material will greatly increase the chance of the impression coping rotating or dislodging from the impression. And using medium or heavy body is something we recommend for all implant impressions, regardless of the system or whether it's open or closed tray. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.